Hello, bombshellers. So today was a little bit better than the past two days because I got to sleep until 9, 10. Ah, oh, sleep. I know, it's something spooky. Anyway, speaking of spooky, I got some more Christmas gifts to wrap today, but I'm out of tape. Imagine that. And uh, got to get tape. And I'm so excited because I'm almost done with Christmas. I know, it's so cool. And um, of course that means yours truly, my little darling blue bombshell has got to go to the shop again. And this time we're getting new tires, y'all. Woohoo! Can't wait. Anyway, there's the excitement. <laughs> you get excited over tires. Um, now, what to share with you how my day went. I have felt so like uh, out of it today. Don't know why. I'm excited because tomorrow night I'm hoping to get back to my workout. Notice I said hoping. Um, tonight I want to cover, I have four magazines. I want to try and get through as many as possible as I can with you because my magazines are getting ready to be bagged up and I see my work mom on Saturday and I'm going to give her her magazines, her books, and hopefully um, something baked. I have no clue what that will be, but something. And anyway, I have been such in the mood for Christmas. It got me thinking, hey, you know what? I should be coloring Christmas. So I probably will make a bunch of Christmas uh, little uh, adult color pages and then put them in a frame and everybody will probably get one at Christmas. Isn't that exciting? Since I'm starting early enough, I have no reason not to be done by then. This one says joy, love, and peace. It's a Christmas tree. The color of the tree is olive. What I find unique is the coloring of peace is slate and aqua, light aqua by the Prima Colors. This here, the love, is the light aqua and slate again, but this is a mixture of orange, orange crush, and um, oh, uh, the yellow is a Prima color, and I forget the name of it. This up here, that's the slate and aqua again, but these are turquoise and aqua. And this is a mixture of my yellows and reds. And the tree is olive. But anyway, uh, enough talking. How did my work day go? It went. Uh, Grandpa at first thought we weren't going to get any mail. I was like dying laughing at that because I'm like, I'm expecting packages. Cousin Penny is having her packages delivered here. And then I wrap them. And then, you know, that's the way we're doing it. So it's like, I, we're, we're going to have packages. So he, uh, today, today was our mail girl's day off. So we had the substitute, right? And the substitute walked on by the house at first, but then pulled up and then delivered the packages. And I'm, like I said, he's got a little bit more to deliver, but I'm pretty excited about it. So it's about over with. I've got four magazines to share with you tonight. So we're going to try and do that right now. Not during this video. It's the next video. But I wanted to tell you I got to go to Walmart tonight. And um, I wore my mask. Kept socially distanced. I tried to anyway. And then um, got my necessities, which was one of the necessities was Clarendon. And I was like, I just, I wanted to get the three months supply. So I wasn't going to have to come back to Walmart anytime soon. Because it's going to start turning into a madhouse. I don't care. Y'all are going to make it awful. You know, the holidays, you know, we're supposed to be nice and kind to each other and goodwill towards men and all that good stuff. Y'all get in there and y'all start pushing and shoving. There ain't no goodwill towards men. It's give me this, give me that. Anyway, um, I'm in a mood because I watched Married at First Sight, the Australian thing. And Michelle and Steve did not make it. I was really pulling for y'all. I thought, okay, after Michelle let you have it, you're going to come back and you're going to speak from the heart and say, okay, I'm sorry you feel that way, which is a typical male response. And then he's going to say, but let me show you how I can love you, you know? No, nope, he just walks away. Another typical male response, just walks away. So then I, Liz and Zeb, she scared me because she was starting to be like, well, I was starting to wonder, you know, it's been so long since you've been in a relationship. Maybe it's just you're showering me with this emotion because you haven't been in a relationship. I'm like, oh gosh, they're going to go their separate ways too. Thank God and Greyhound, they actually worked it out. I'm like going, hallelujah. 
and next week is the reunion show, y'all. I will probably be taking notes next week, you can guarantee, because they sh from the spicy little tidbit that they showed from the after show, Stacy was unfaithful to Michael. So that might break that duo up. And they've been unbreakable so far. So stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know. That was just a wild bombshell out there, let me tell you. Okay, we're going to leave with that tonight because there wasn't too much other stuff to tell you about. And um, books, we're going to hit them like a wildfire next. Don't go nowhere.